What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon Mail Day. We have a good variety of stuff. This stack of PSA slaps is actually my PSA returns. We have another PSA returns video. Very excited. Uh, these are some cards I picked up on eBay for some adding to our PSA collection. Then we have some raw cards as well. So to start, um, so actually this stack of cards I actually picked up through someone on Instagram. Now I almost 99% of my purchases are done through eBay. I feel like it's you know, a validated platform for me and buying stuff on Instagram is kind of weird, but there's only one seller that I've made purchases so far, and that is Andy and Sons Poke TCG. Check them out. This is where I picked up all these cards, and they are a bunch of Watsy Hollows. And um, so we got a base set Algazam here. So this is heavy play, and you know, there's definitely where I feel like it is pretty accurate, but. Um, you know what, a card from $19.99 for less than $10. I think this will look great in a binder collection. Actually, most of these cards will be perfect for a binder collection. Um, I feel like binder collections are super underrated. Yes, PSA is the, I'm gonna use the word gold standard uh, and you know best way to hold the value. But when it comes to, you know, occasionally looking at your PSA collection, it's a hassle. Uh, most of them are in storage and you don't want anything to get damaged, obviously. So this one's a little bit more expensive, but base set two, working on that base set two uh, binder and some Neo stuff, $2, like, yeah, it's damage, who cares? Put in a binder, uh, put in a nice KMC, KMC hypermat, you can't even tell. And um, yeah, at least the binder collection, a lot of the cards are damaged, you don't mind leaving it out, and it's just easy to look at and just appreciate these arts from a long, long ago. Uh, we got a Togetic, and a lot of these I actually don't have. And um, some of them, like this is Light Play. I, don't know, I feel like this is pretty good condition. Uh, if I don't have a PSA graded card of this already, I'll probably just send this in. And um, yep, so we got some more Neo Era cards. This is the most expensive one for Porygon 2, and then we do have a Expedition Golem. I believe it's Expedition Reverse Golem. Very nice. Andy and Son, check them out. Let's see, what do we have here? This was actually a free card he added. So basically, he posts a bunch of cards. It calls like a claim sale. You tell them which ones you want. Uh, I saw a few posts that had these old Watsy cards. It's like, all right, claim all. And then he's like, all right, well, you can also pick a free card. And this was one of them, Base Set 2 Chansey. Um, still working on that binder collection. I can't even tell like where the damage is. This card actually looks in good condition for me. So um, yeah, thank you so much, Andy. And then another card we picked up off eBay is our fourth secret rare quick ball. So we have our play set of gold quick balls for whenever live events ever start. All right, let's go to some PSA pickups from eBay. This is from the latest PWCC auction. I think I bid it on over a hundred items. I cannot keep up with the price increases lately. We only got two cards and this is an interesting set of promos. I don't know too much about uh, the Rumble promos, uh, but I do really like the unique art and I want to pick up a whole set eventually. So we're starting off with just a Babarl and a Rattata. So probably like the lowest hanging fruit of that set, but we got to start somewhere. That's all we got from PWCC. I thought maybe there'd be some gems to find, given that everyone's so going crazy about Champions Path, but it wasn't the case, at least for myself. This one is a pretty big purchase. I uh, haven't been buying too many high-end PSA cards lately, but we have a uh, Aquapolis Umbreon Reverse PSA 10. So anything PSA 10 during this era, I feel like it's going for crazy prices. The reverse foils significantly less, uh, but I thought this was at a good price, so I just pulled the trigger, and here we go. A not too many PSA 10s that we have currently, so happy to add this to our collection. And all right, let's go to our own PSA returns. I think I sent these out in July. So it took about three months to get them back. I'm gonna put off the side, we'll go in order. First one we have is a Articuno first edition from Fossil. Card looks really good. I don't can't see any like edgeware or anything. And we have a PSA 9. Beautiful card. I love all that like sparkle in the background. So very nice pickup or addition right there. Let's see what I think is another jungle. Hitmon Lee first edition. Looks great. Back looks pretty good. I think there was a little bit of whitening, kind of like in this corner maybe. And this one only got the mint eight. Maybe there's some more damage I can't see. Centering looks fine. But uh, first edition PSA 8, I'm perfectly okay with. 
All right, so this is the one I'm most disappointed on. Um, there is some edgeware up here and maybe elsewhere, like a nick in the corner, but I feel like this card doesn't look too bad. And this is a very unique card. It is a, I believe they call this, I've seen eBay listings before, they call it like a cigar stain. So I'm not sure how this happens in the printing process, but ones on eBay, I think that are graded like nine, going for like thousands of dollars, it's much smaller. The stain is much smaller than this. Uh, and I don't see any like dents. We will use the light to see if we can identify like any dents or anything because this thing got ridiculously low grade. So it got just a very good to excellent PSA 4, which I don't understand unless they took off because of the stain. But I there are cards on eBay that are listed uh, as the same stain error at PSA 9. So this one I'm pretty disappointed on. Um, not really sure what my options are. I'm not too familiar with this error, uh, but if you have any information or you see any other dents or anything in this card, I don't agree with this grade whatsoever. And I feel like that's a very unique card. All right, so we'll see a lot of common art in this PSA returns, and that is the base set Charizard. This one is base set two. We got this iconic artwork base set two Charizard, and this one is a PSA nine. Very happy to add this to our collection. Uh, guys, I say it's a lot. Base set two, I bet when it comes to completing a PSA set, base set two, it's probably cheaper than you would think. And um, obviously the Charizard will be the most expensive though. All right, we got another base set two Charizard. This one is only a PSA six. Uh, I do see some significant dents on the back. Six feels kind of harsh though. Maybe there's something else I didn't see. Let's keep going, what else we got? All right, this one's Legendary Collection. And we got a Near Mint 7. So covering our bases for all these uh, reprints of this Charizard art. Let's keep going. A base set Charizard, the original unlimited set, PSA 8, very nice. The prices of these are going crazy right now. So I'll take all the basic Charizards I can get. Uh, we still have, I don't know, a handful still at PSA. Probably a while before we get them back. Hey, look at that, another Charizard. This one is another eight. All right, look who it is. This one, ooh, mint nine, there we go. So very nice card. Uh, let's just take a look, all right, what? Okay, so right off the bat, there's maybe this corner alone. Uh, could turn this from a you know prevent it from getting that 10 man that 10 I, I'm doing pretty good on my unlimited PSA 10 collection for base sets But that Charizard just keeps going up and up. I'm not sure I'm gonna pick it up anytime soon another mint 9 so two mint 9s for base set Charizard Ooh, Another one another eight What's next? You guessed it. <laughs> Another base set Charizard. This one is a seven. So we ended up with, uh, what's this? Two sevens, three eights, and two nines. Very nice spread. So let's get a small change of pace. We got Burning Shadows Charizard. Uh, one thing I do appreciate about like the Burning Shadow earlier Sun and Moon is how textured the cards are. Like if um. I feel like these days you have to look pretty close to notice it, but you know, from back here, back here, you can see like the ridges, I guess, to, I'm not sure what to call them, but the amount of texture uh, was so much more defined back in Burning Shadows. And this one got the Mint 9. I think the centering, actually, so I see a little bit of edge wear at the top. I think the centering wasn't too great either. You can kind of see that top border versus that bottom. So not perfectly centered. So I'm fine with this Mint 9, still don't have a 10. All right, so next we're going to my, we have a Japanese card here. This is my favorite Japanese promo. Uh, you probably heard me talk about this card before. It is the Mario Pikachu. Um, I feel like Pokemon doesn't do too many collabs with other games, but this one is super iconic for me. Love this card. And it got the Gem Mint 10, beautiful. Ha very happy to have gotten this grade and very happy to add it to the collection last two uh so right now everyone's chasing the champions path charizards but i finally got some of my hidden fate stuff graded here we have 
Um, so for Pit of Fates Charizards, I pulled two and I bought one. I can't remember what this one was, but we got the gem mid 10. Prices are already going down. Um, so with like, I mean, hindsight is always 2020. 20. I kind of wish I got this graded right away. And kind of like when I was around the 2000 mark, wish I sold it around then. I think we're kind of like looking more towards like uh, anywhere from like 12 to 1500 right now. So losing value fast, it almost feels like a round two of race to the bottom for this card. But uh, very happy to have that. And last but not least, we have another Hidden Fates Charizard. So one of these I pulled myself for sure, and this one also got the Gem Mint 10. So we got two Gem Mint 10 Charizards, and we got the, probably my favorite card of this set was this one. Although love those nines, of course. And most disappointing grade is this Hitmonlee. Let me leave it right here for a second. Maybe this will make a good for a good thumbnail or something. So very happy to add all this. I don't know if you know anything about this card, let me know. I don't agree with this four. Oh, the card looks great otherwise. Yeah, there's, you know, it's definitely not a 10. A little bit of edge wear. But uh, is there a dent down here or something? No, I can't. I don't see a dent or anything. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, pretty excited to get all this stuff in the mail recently. So, as always, um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Check out our Patreon page if you are looking for any Champions Path Breaks or anything like that. Uh, check out our Discord server. And um, yeah, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.